Good morning, modern steaders. It's a nice brisk five degrees out this morning. You're taking your booties off? Livy's just trying to keep you warm when you're out here. Silly puppy dog, huh? Good boy, come on. Good boy. He's like, I hear the chickens. You hear those chickens, huh? All right, let's go in the house. Once it gets warmer out, I bet you Tan will be able to watch you get on the bus. Yeah. It's too cold right now for him to stay out, huh? Y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good day at school. Hey. You gonna be able to stay awake? I don't know. All right, love you. love you. Good morning, girls. It's gonna be warm today and tomorrow. You're not gonna know what to do. Look at that hairdo. Everybody's gone. I gotta put Tanner in his kennel while me and Pluto go out and do the other chores. You gotta get him kennel trained. We want Tanner to learn that his kennel is a good place to go to. Well, that was easy. I've been putting dog food in here and letting him get in completely. And then we'll shut the kennel. And then he learns this is his happy place. I really believe in training your dogs to crates. I'm sure we're gonna get some comments because there's a lot of people who don't believe in crate training your dog. I think it's good to have your dog know that this is like their safe place. They can go and chill out if they want. And then if you need to transport your animal, if you need to go anywhere, they're already trained. My goats are quiet this morning. What are you girls doing? It's so quiet in here. Normally not this quiet first thing in the morning. Yeah. Huh. Ready for some grain? Or I should say alfalfa pellets. Nope, go for it. It's dark in here this morning. You gotta get the skylights cleaned off today. I wanted to thank everybody. Just the other day, Tuesday night, we hit 60,000 subscribers. So thank you for all of that. If you guys are watching the channel and you're not subscribed yet, now is a great time to hit that button. And when you do, turn on notifications. If you go back to notifications, they'll let you choose from sometimes, every once in a while, or always. So if you're not getting notifications, that could be why. YouTube's changed up how they notify you. There's been a few projects I've wanted to do lately, but with all the snow we've gotten, we've been kind of in survival mode. And the outdoor projects that I wanted to do are going to have to wait a little while until we melt some of the snow. The good thing about that is we've got plenty of time for working with Tanner and training him. I think I see a bump on her side, guys. I'm hoping she's pregnant. I'm gonna lock them back in the barn for a while. Need to get the Kubota down here today and get their goat pen cleaned up so they have more room to exercise out here. Pluto knows where the best spot in the house is. You ready to go out and feed the chickens? I'm 
Moose is quiet this morning. That fence is gonna be buried if we get any more snow. Good morning. You got any eggs in here this morning? What's going on? Lady? Moose, good morning. No eggs. Wow. They must not have liked the cold weather yesterday. Hopefully we'll get some eggs in a little while from them. Come springtime, we're gonna be building a barn here. I haven't been talking about it too much because it feels like a long way off with the weather we've been having, so. I don't want to get myself cabin fever too early, if you know what I mean. I've been looking forward to building a barn for a long time now. So, to be getting all this snow and locked in winter since the beginning of November. It's been a little tough this year, I will admit. We're getting the kit delivered in March. That way we can get the sale price we got on it and we can get free delivery. Depending on the weather, we're most likely not going to be able to start the project until May. That's why I'm not trying to think about it too much. We still got a while. Hopefully soon we can start doing some prep work and get in the site ready for the barn. Need to get the tractor warming up so we can use it. We gotta bundle up, it's still not that warm up yet. take my roll bar down. Oh, we're gonna hit right there. And I'm gonna have to keep my eye on that because I'm gonna hit my head on it if I don't duck.
at how deep that snow is. headway gaining some room but there's a lot of snow in here it's like we got to keep doing the same thing over and over to get the snow out look at all that i gotta get it off the roof but the goats will have some room to run around now once we get it cleaned up the goats appreciate all the work we just did for them come on out girls look at all the room whoa look at that come on willow come here willow blossom buttercup like what is going on 
What do you think? You got room to roam again. What are you doing, Tanner? You gonna chase the kitty? The first seven to 14 weeks of a puppy's life is when they're most impressionable and you wanna socialize them to much things as possible. So we're gonna go for our first tractor ride today, Tanner. What you think of your first tractor ride, Tanner, huh? Good boy, yeah. You did good. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. <sighs> we want to get him used to doing as many as the farm chores with us as we can. So that way when he's older, he'll be used to it. Come on. Come here, Tanner. Come here. Oh, good boy. Yeah, you good boy. Good boy. You ready to go in? Get a cookie? You and Pluto? Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Sit, Pluto. Good girl. Tanner. Huh, sit. No. We got a treat for you. Sit. Sit. No. Sit. Down. Sit. 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 Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you're a good, good, good girl too, Pluto. Sometimes when we have leftover meat, I like to make a glaze to put on it when we have it. Leftovers. So tonight we're going to make a... Sesame chicken, but instead of it being chicken, we're gonna use the leftover pork loin that we cooked up the other night. I have one cup of chicken stock. It's like soy sauce, but the healthy version. Look at that, just enough. Four tablespoons of rice vinegar. You could use apple cider vinegar if you don't have rice vinegar. Brown sugar. Half a teaspoon of ground ginger. Mince up two cloves of garlic. Tanner's back here behind me, making all the noise eating dinner. You're a noisy eater, Tanner. Get this on the stove and get it cooking.
Oh, you being a good boy. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. Were you happy to see Tana when you go home? Yeah. Yeah? Ready to go check on the goats? Yeah. Pluto's ready. How come you girls aren't out? Now they're out. Now you're gonna come out and say I removed all the snow for you. Look, now they got room to play again. Yeah, I did because I don't want to hit it with the tractor. You can take it down. They're coming for you. Says, no, you got hay on my head. Pluto, wrong way. This way. So it's like, what do I do once the trail stops? I don't want to get off the trail. Oh, really, Pluto? She has snow in your boot. No, she got boots, huh? There you go. See, here's my drone trail. It's a deep. Oh, look at that pile of eggs. I didn't lay any this morning, but we got four, six. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Moose, for keeping them protected. She's like, I'm cold. Got six eggs. None. They didn't have any eggs for me this morning. Yeah. My wood pile right there is getting low. I can see through it. Sometimes life can be rough. No, let me rephrase that. A lot of the times, life can be rough. But we need not to focus on the rough part, the hard part. Because when we do, that mountain we need to climb just gets bigger. We need to stop at the end of the day and just remember how great the day was. All the small things or big things that we accomplished and hold on to them. Hold on to our family, hold on to our hope, hold on to our faith. And just know we'll get there we had a rough week this week guys but it's been a great week and that's what 
I'm gonna remember. And that's what I want you to remember. Those little hiccups, that's just life's lessons. So take them, put them under your belt, remember them next time something bad happens. And say, you know what? We made it through that time, we'll make it through this time. Thanks guys for coming along on our journey with us. You truly are a blessing to our family. And I hope one way or another, we're able to bless your family more than you're blessing ours. So thanks for coming along with us and we'll see you guys right back here at the, in the next video at Lumna Acres, the guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.